What is up, Low Heat Sneaker Fam? I have a uh, unboxing today. Some uh, p potential nonsense unboxing. Uh, but before we get to that, you I mean, you already know what it is from the title. But before we get to this, I have some what at one point in time would have been hot, definite high heat. And uh, nowadays, I don't know. You be the judge. Let me know in the comments if you think this is uh, high heat or not. Uh, but just the fact that I was able to get it, it being a Supreme Box logo hoodie. Uh, nowadays, I think, you know, it's a sign of the times that Supreme's uh, fallen off a bit. And uh, that's just the way things are. Uh, you know, oversaturation, uh, you know, social media. Now everyone knows, you know, what's hip, what's popular. Things, things fizzle, fads rotate even faster. And uh, you know, Supreme has been bought out or invested in by a larger corporation. All of that, I think, plays into some of the, uh, you know, it's lost a little bit of its luster, a little bit of its uniqueness. And uh, so, yeah, I was able to secure, I think that's everything, a couple box logo stickers as they usually include their orders pack of supreme skittles uh i don't know what do people do with all this like edible consumable stuff like i see some people like sell it sometimes like you know travis scott cause reese's pieces puffs um supreme wheaties uh the supreme cough drops you know you can't keep this stuff forever eventually it goes bad so um uh all of you who have got something like this have you eaten it yet are you reselling food? Um, sometimes uh, what I've done is, eat, I, uh, with the Travis Scott uh, Reese's Puffs, I ate the cereal and kept the box. So that's what I've done with that. Um, anyways, copped a pair of socks. What I like to do, uh, way back when, I think it was like my first video I ever posted, I posted like how to cop Supreme manually. And, you know, it's not a foolproof way, it's not a guarantee, but what I like to do is have things in my cart, have my cart ready to go, then go back to the shopping tab uh, right before the drop and refresh and do all that stuff. I like to have things already in the shopping cart, so I always like just, you know, put something small in there, a new, new pack of socks, make sure everything's correct in the cart, um, all my info, and then, uh, so that's one way to expedite the checkout process, at least in my mind. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys do. Uh, hopefully it's not by bots. But there you go. There you have it. The olive green uh, Russian camo box logo hoodie from the fall winter 2020, 2021 season. An extra large. I'm an extra large boy currently. This is my first box logo hoodie I've ever procured. This is like... Mm, arguably my first box logo ever I've got. I once uh, a few years ago was able to uh, manually get the um, Comme des Garçons uh, box logo where it was like split and shifted. I was able to get a t-shirt, a black t-shirt, and I flipped that um, back then. So I was able to get a, you know, a version of the box logo t-shirt, but this is my first hoodie I've ever got. And uh, again, just did it, uh, was quick with it, quick with the fingers, quick with the checkout, and like somehow hit. Um, so I would like to know from you guys if uh, you're still vibing with Supreme. I know it's definitely like uh, come down in popularity, but like, you know, you're still rocking with box logo hoodies, t-shirts, etc. Is this something that like you would want and wear? Or nah, you're, you're over it. You don't mess with it anymore. You pass. Uh, I'm definitely going to hold on to this just as it is my first ever um, box logo, like, you know, coveted item. Uh, I let, Who doesn't like hoodies? I personally like this Kith hoodie I have on right now. I have a couple Kith hoodies, and um, I like those, but I think I'm going to hold on to this, uh, probably wear it at some point, just because, you know, if I ever get another one, then maybe I'll sell one, but... Uh, this is just my one and only right now, so this is for this is for the collection right now. I'm gonna keep it, even though Supreme might not be as popular. I'm a grown man wearing Supreme, and that might not be popular. Um, I just want, I, I don't know. I like it. I like green. Uh, I dig the uh, digital camo. Um, you know, 
So I, I was hyped to get it. You know, hitting on a Supreme Box logo item is kind of like, you know, winning the lottery to a degree. So I was, I was stoked and uh, happy to add this piece to the collection, even if it is uh, a little, uh, little corny nowadays to some people. So yeah, uh, another question for you guys. Are you guys excited buying, copying the Kanye Yeezy Gap hoodie that w just dropped, the blue and the black one? 80 bucks for a plain hoodie? I mean, that better be some decent quality. Like, I was tempted, but like, you know what? I'm like, you know what, Derek? You're not, you're not a, you're not a Kanye fan. Um, why buy this? You're just buying it to buy it. Uh, a plain hoodie. So, uh, interested to see the audience that watches this video, uh, if you're, if you copped one. Uh, so, but moving on to, moving on to this, moving on to this, this might be one of my more ridiculous purchases ever. I'll explain to you my thought process when I got this though, in a second. Um, this might be right up there with the, uh, Stingwater, uh, <laughs> cardboard boxes I've purchased. Uh, if you haven't seen those unboxings of a box, definitely go watch those videos if you want a lesson in just buying things to buy. Um, live vicariously through my mistakes so you don't make them. Uh, so here we go. This is the Supreme uh, Bowling Ball. Oh, for those of you who are wondering, this was $168 uh, plus shipping and taxes. I think it, um, yeah, that's expensive for a hoodie. I'm, I'm talking about $80 hoodies being expensive. This is twice that cost, um, over twice that cost. But at least there's, you know, a design um, and a pattern to it. Uh, so there is that. Anyways, back to this. I was able to get the Supreme Bowling Ball. I was, I was thinking this might resell. Um, and then definitely realized after I got it, Two hours later, these were still available and hadn't sold out. So I felt a little foolish uh, about that when it didn't immediately sell out. But after rationalizing, um, I was like, you know what? You know what? Maybe this was an okay purchase, even if it's not reselling. Also, how are you going to ship this thing? Okay, there we, there it is. Ooh, kind of the box broke open which is kind of not a surprise if you're shipping a bowling ball um i'm not surprised something like this happened so hopefully this doesn't affect any sort of if i want to resell it but here it is it's a storm storm brand bowling ball for all you uh lebowskis out there i got the large size 12 pounds uh i I have big I have thin fingers but definitely big on the bigger size of hands. Uh also came with a couple box logo stickers. I have so many box logo stickers. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I should make some sort of wall mural or montage. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. All right, take it out for you guys. Cuz so that's what this is. It's an unboxing. All right, try not to drop this. Definitely a little heavy. I probably bowl more with the, uh, you know, the, the 10, 10, 11 pound balls, but I need the big finger holes. This is okay. I'm more impressed with this now that I have this in hand. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Actually, it's ridiculous, but it's kind of cool. There's the, uh, there's the finger holes, uh, for you. And then let's get a good view of the, uh, there's the storm logo. And then let's get a let's get a good view of the box logo for the thumbnail. There's the box logo. Now it's kind of cool. You can see it's inlaid. Like I don't know if you can tell, the logo is inside. There's a layer of you know clear. What are bowling balls made out of? What what um, plastic? chemical is this anyone know um i think some sort of ceramic inside 
but uh, there you go. So my pr thought process once I realized this wasn't a reselling hot item was like, you know what? This could be a cool display piece, right? So this cost $200 retail, you know, shipping taxes. It was like, came out to like $220. Um, $220 for this sitting in your, you know, man cave room, whatever living room. Uh, might be a little corny, but to anyone who likes Supreme or, or hype beasts, street artists, etc., skaters, uh, this might be a cool piece to have to display. And this was only two hundred. Something like here, I can't even set this down. It's ridiculous. Um, that was only two hundred. Something like this, and I just got did an unboxing video of another one of these. A uh, cause figure. Uh, check out my uh, cause uh, holiday Singapore unboxing that I just did. Uh, this cause separated figure costs, you know, 300 to $400, uh, or a cause figure in general costs is 300 to $400 for this. So in a way, this is like almost half as cheap for a cool display piece. I just got to get a bowling ball, you know, display holder. And this is a cheaper, you know, essentially statue. So that's, that's the way I'm thinking about it. Do you guys agree? Disagree? Cause figures way cooler. Stick with those, even though they're more expensive. I just thought this, you know, if this is can't resell, I can just display this at half the cost of a cause figure. I think it's kind of dope. Now, should I go bowling with this? If you're still watching the video, definitely comment if I should bowl with this or not. And well, you can't just if you're gonna say yes, like immediately go to the comments and like yes, bowl with it. Like, what would you? Honestly, what would you think of someone who came to the bowling alley and let's say they're wearing that uh, camo Supreme box logo hoodie that I got and they bring this to the bowling alley and are actually using that. Are you thinking that's fire? Are you thinking that guy's corny as fuck? Uh, be honest. So if you're still watching, let me know truthfully. Uh, yeah, keep this at home. Do not go bowling with this, or would you be like, would would that be mad props if if you saw you went to the bowling alley night with the the friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, night with the homies, you you go up bowling for for shits and giggles, uh, some drinks, and then you see someone roll up in their group and they're using this, and this is coming up and down the the ball return. What are you thinking? I'm thinking if the guy's bowling over. 150 the guy's bowling over one or girl or girl or whoever uh if they're bowling over 150 160 with this then i don't mind as much if they're chucking gutter balls though um and they're and, you know also depends on what's on foot obviously it'll be bowling shoes for part of the time but uh i guess i'd have to do a whole fit check a whole vibe check that's it if the vibe's right, I'm giving them a little props. But on, on first glance, this is probably corny. So that's my answer. This is going to a display unit until hopefully this becomes $400. Then I'll consider selling it to a local resale shop here in LA. Um, but right now I got to look for a nice bowling ball display. If you know any, uh, hit me in the comments. So that's my unboxing video of this ridiculous thing. Go check out my cause unboxings and my Stingwater box unboxings if you're watching this video and my other supreme unboxings all right thanks more uh pair low heat coming in real soon so subscribe that's my one subscribe plug i haven't even said subscribe yet um got a pair of low heat unboxing coming up very soon thanks for watching